Welcome back to another video of Microsoft 365. In this video, we are going to see how we can disable or cancel uh, the subscription that we share to um, one of the user uh, out of our five subscription in the family pack or the personal pack that we bought in the last uh, video. So, and also I will demonstrate how you can use the OneDrive uh, personal vault, which provides extra security. And also if your uh, MS Office application is going to show some errors related to the licenses, I will also show you how to fix it. So these are the three things and we will wind up the uh, Microsoft 365 personal uh, topics in this uh, session. The first thing I'm going to show to you is uh, how you can fix a uh, license related uh, issue uh, for the MS applications that comes under Microsoft 365 package. So this system was off for a long time and it is not indicating any error. But if you go to the accounts, you can see uh, I have some account related error and also some office updates are pending and also it can't verify the license. So it's all related to uh, the account because this license is assigned to an account so I only need to sign into that account uh, once I successfully signed in then this error will disappear and related to the update also you can simply click on the update and close the MS office obligations that will update it and bring everything back uh, updates are automatic actually but as the system was l a long time uh, shut down and uh, when it came back i had a license related issue that's why it was pending otherwise the office updates are uh, automatic so now you can see that uh, the subscription and the updates issues are solved now another interesting topic I have for you is OneDrive Personal Vault. So OneDrive I don't think uh, need much explanation about what is OneDrive. But inside OneDrive there is something called a Personal Vault uh, which provides an extra security. So you can see that when I try to log in uh, it is asking me uh, to verify my email address because even I logged in with my primary account it it's gonna send a code to my alternative email address which given as a part of uh, uh, like alternate email address in this account so this is gonna send a verification code and i have to enter this but if you're using this in a mobile application or um, something else then either mfa or your biometric would be enough to complete this stage this is gonna give an extra security for the uh, documents that you kept in personal vault when you click on the personal vault um, you can upload uh, like uh, other drive how you use the same way you can upload the files uh, there is no difference in terms of use you can see that i uploaded a small pdf file now uh, when you try to access it from your devices uh, i signed in already so the verification has completed but if i'm gonna try uh, from another system for a demonstration i'm gonna use a private uh, window so now I logged in to my OneDrive and I'm going to explore the personal vault and you can see that it popped up with a, a second verification to my email address. For a seamless experience, of course, with the mobile, you can use your biometric or uh, other kind of identity uh, verifications. But for this demo, I just show you with the email address. So this is going to add an extra layer of security with the Microsoft 365 and OneDrive for the documents that you kept in personal vault. Now let's log in back to the primary account where our subscriptions are uh, managed. So here, once you uh, logged in to the service and subscription page, you will see that uh, you can manage sharing. So if you want to share again, you can do that. But our aim is to stop sharing and so, so that you can select it and stop it. So what will happen actually, uh, they will be able to view and print office files using the MS Office applications installed, but they will lose uh, their one terabyte of uh, OneDrive access that we were sharing. So these are the changes that are going to happen. And by this way, they will lose their uh, MS Office uh, application access actually. So let's try what is going to happen here. So you can see here I received an email. Uh, you can see the notification on the right side that going to explain to me 
uh, that the sharing is no longer valid so either i need to uh, purchase a new subscription to continue uh, accessing all these applications and from the application side you will see a notification like a yellow uh, line which mentioned that renew your uh, subscription so this is what gonna happen once you uh, stop sharing uh, to the people who are consuming your subscription so that's all in this video let's summarize what we have learned uh, in Microsoft 365 personnel so Microsoft 365 personnel provides us two packages uh, uh, one is personal and home and for the demonstration we selected home and also then we learned uh, like how we can share the subscriptions to other people and how we can uh, disable the subscription or stop sharing the subscriptions and how the people who accepted those invitation or, or those sharing how they can consume the ms office desktop application and also OneDrive. so that is all see you in the next video